RPG aspirants. Kirti this side and you're welcome to Law Spectres. किसी भी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम को अगर सक्सेसफुली क्लियर करना है तो सबसे पहले उस एग्जाम के सिलेबस को डिटेल में समझ लेना चाहिए कौन से टॉपिक्स इम्पोर्टेंट हैं, किस टाइप के क्वेश्चंस आ सकते हैं एग्जाम में पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स में क्वेश्चंस का क्या पैटर्न रहा है और किस टॉपिक से कितने क्वेश्चन आते हैं ये सब अगर आप पहले से ही फिगर आउट कर लेंगे तो एग्जाम की तैयारी काफी आसान हो जाएगी ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम में वो एक्सपीरियंस सक्सेसफुल नहीं होते जो सब कुछ डिटेल में पढ़ते हैं बल्कि वो एक्सपीरियंस पेपर क्लियर करते हैं जो सिलेबस से स्टिक रहते हैं और सिलेबस के कॉन्टेंट्स को स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो करते हैं इट्स ऑल अबाउट टाइम एंड कॉन्टेंट मैनेजमेंट एट दी एंड फॉलोइंग द सेम आइडिया आज के वीडियो में हम जानेंगे की जूरिस प्रूडेंट्स के कौन कौन से टॉपिक्स इम्पोर्टेंट है क्लैट पीजी के परस्पेक्टिव से एंड नॉट ओनली फॉर क्लैट पीजी ये टॉपिक्स जो है वो बाकी इक्वेलेंट एल एल एम एंट्रेंस एग्जाम के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से भी इम्पोर्टेंट है जूरिस प्रूडेंट से मोस्टली डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चंस ही आते हैं क्लैट पीजी में लेकिन अगर आपके कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर नहीं है तो आप आंसर नहीं कर पाएंगे इट रिक्वायर्स डिटेल स्टडी ऑफ स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक्स ये जो टॉपिक्स मैं आपको बताने वाली हूँ ये मैंने क्लैट पीजी के पास्ट ईयर के पेपर्स को स्टडी करने के बाद शॉर्टलिस्ट किए हैं लेट्स की वो इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स क्या है यूल बिगिन विद बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जूरिस प्रूडेंट अंडर दैट यूल स्टडी द नेचर स्कोप definition and significance of jurisprudence moving on to subtopics in this category you will learn jurisprudence and legal theory relation between law and justice under that you will study thoughts of hla hart amartya sen john rawls and aristotle to be precise you will also have to cover relation between law and morals under which you have to study hart and devlin debate majorly then you have to study schools of jurisprudence the first school being natural school of law under this topic you have to study the following sub topics introduction and features of natural school then stages of natural school which are early greek period medieval renaissance and reformist phase followed by the theory of social contract which was dealt by hugo grotius thomas hobbes john locke and rousseau then you have to study revival of natural law under which thoughts of stamler fuller finnis and hla hart are important later on you have to study hart and fuller debate on natural school of law in this category the next school of law is analytical positivism also known as positive school of law under that you have to study introduction and central claims of analytical positivism Now as far as central claims are concerned you have to study certain authors here or jurist we can say first one jeremy bentham under jeremy bentham you have to study aspects of law his utilitarianism concept along with its criticism merits and demerits then comes the thoughts of john austin where you have to study types of law law as command along with criticism merits and demerits and application of austin's theory third author is hans kelsen who gave pure theory of law the concept of grand norm along with criticism merits and demerits another important jurist is hla hart who gave primary and secondary rules and rules of recognition these concept you have to study with criticism also hla hart and dworkin debate is important here then comes the historical school of law under which you have to study introduction and features and thoughts of karl von savigny who gave vox's gist along with criticism merits and demerits and the thoughts of henry main including stages of law status to contract along with criticism merits and demerits next school of law is sociological school of law here along with introduction and features you have to study thoughts of iring erlich dogeot and roscoe pound under von iring you have to study purpose of law and interest theory living theory of erlich social solidarity theory of dugeot and social engineering balance of interest theory jural postulates along with its criticism given by roscoe pound then comes the topic of realist movement so the first sub topic will be american realism given by oliver holmes next topic will be badman theory which is also called the prediction theory of law moving on to jerome frank who gave father of complex theory skepticism jury matrix etc and then carl llewellyn gave law jobs theory that is also very important 
The next important topic is Scandinavian realism where you have to study thoughts of Hegerstrom, Oliver Krona and Alf Ross. You also have to study little bit about economic approach where Marx and Engels views about law and state and realist approach are important. Then you have to study about critical legal studies movement. The thoughts of legal pluralism by Roberto Unger. Apart from that, you also have to study the concept of feminist jurisprudence, how it started and how it has evolved in the present times. After that, the next important topic is sources of law. Under that, you have to study three sources of law, legislation, judicial reasoning and custom. Under legislation, you have to study origin and development of legislation, separation of powers and legislation, origin of Indian legislation, Indian constitution and legislative powers, just the basic idea. Advantages of legislation over judge-made law, this is very very important. Then statutory interpretation and intentionalist fallacy, alternative concepts of interpretation. So this is a very very big debate going on since inception. So this is also very important. Then you also have to study about judicial activism, subordinate and autonomous legislation. Under judicial reasoning, you have to study law of precedent in civil law and common law legal systems, a comparison. Then law of precedent and theory of declaration. And moving on to law of precedent in India. Now law of precedent in India topic is very important. Then moving on to topic of stare decisis. Then exceptions to stare decisis. What is ratio decedent die? Thoughts of Wombaugh, Goodhart and Halsbury's test. This tests are very important. The practice in Indian courts as it is going currently. And how stare decisis and subordinate courts, how, how they deal with the topic of stare decisis. Moving on to judicial reasoning, inductive and deductive approach. This is very important. Stone's category of illusory references. You can have a basic idea about this. Moving on to custom. So you have to read how a, you know how a practice becomes custom and how it becomes eventually a principle of law. Here you have to study custom and culture fanon topic also. Apart from these topics, you also have to have a basic idea about you know basic legal concepts like legal personality, concept of rights and duties. This is very important. Then concept of responsibility, liability and criminal liability leading to theories of punishment. Theories of punishment also you have to read in detail. Then you also have to study concepts of possession, ownership and property and the concept of injustice also. Just, just have a basic idea about it so that the question comes you can you know mark it. Jurisprudence is generally 45 to 50 marks ki questions aate hai CLAT PG mein. Weightage zada hai to tayari bhi achhi honi chahiye. Now I understand ki jurisprudence kaafi lengthy aur shuruat mein boring lagne wala subject hai. We all have been through that in the law school, right? Lekin agar padne ka tarika sahi ho, to jurisprudence se interesting koi law subject nahi hai. And for jurisprudence, you have no choice. Aapko book padni hi padegi for a strong base. Koon si books padni hai, ye maine mere pichle videos mein recommend kiya hai. You can watch that video later. Sabse pehle to aapko ye dhyan rakhna hai ki aapko cheeze memorize nahi karni hai. Ratna nahi hai. Memorize ki huye topics aapko exam time mein yaad rahenge, iski koi guarantee nahi hai. Isse better aapko concepts ko samajna hai. Real life examples se relate karke padna hai. Isse aap wo concepts kabhi bhoolenge nahi. Aur aap jurisprudence ko aasaan bana sakte hai by making your own simplified notes with flowcharts and summarized statements. I hope ki ye important topics jane ke baad ab aapko ye clear ho gaya hoga ki jurisprudence mein kya aur kitna padna hai. And if you have any doubts related to CLAT PG, to aap CLAT PG se related mere baaki videos dek sakte hai. Aur comment section mein bhi apne doubts pooch sakte hai. All the best to all the CLAT PG aspirants. Video ka content helpful laga ho to ek like to zarur banta hai. Aur isi tarhe ke aur bhi legal content related videos dekhte rehne ke liye is channel ko subscribe kijiye. And don't forget to press the bell icon to receive regular notifications of our videos. Thank you for watching.